Let's move on. Let's talk about SR Oil. Promoters apparently have decided to convert close to 262 million FCCBs into shares. What is the conversion process? We have the management joining us, Mr. LK Gupta, the MD and CEO is on the phone line with us. Mumbai, Mr. Gupta, thank you so much, sir, for joining us. Can you run us through the conversion process, sir? And then, of course, you can also share some uh, thoughts on what exactly is the rationale behind the FCCB conversion as of now? See, if you are uh, aware, last year our promoter, which is SI Energy PLC, had converted this uh, FCCV, which was optionally convertible, into compulsory convertible to boost our net worth. Now, finally, they have also decided now that instead of just leaving it at convert, compulsory convertible debentures, they are wanting it to convert into equity. And that they are converting at the price which was fixed up at the time of issue. So we have received this notice from our parent company and uh, we are going to convert this $260 million lying with us into the equity. So this is going to improve the net worth of SROI substantially. Okay. Uh, can you talk about uh, 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 post the conversion, how much promoter holding would be in, uh, in, in SROI? Post the conversion in SR oil, the promoter's holding is 72.47%. Because when we calculate this share holding, we only calculate the equity shares which are having the voting rights. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it uh, is 72.47%. So that will be the uh, promoter holding after conversion? After conversion. Okay. You, you mentioned about boosting the net worth. What's your estimate by the end of FI14? What is going to be the net worth of the company? So as far as... Uh, March 14 is concerned, if I want to give you a net worth, that will also indirectly project my profitability, which normally we don't give any guidance. All I can say you that basis to 2013, if you include this, our net worth is going to be somewhere around 2500 crores. Okay. You know, uh, the state is looking at this development in a very positive fashion. Uh, obviously, when we see promoters increasing their stake in a company, that sends out a positive signal that they're very bullish about the growth prospects. How do you see the next year panning out for the company, for the sector per se, uh, which segments would contribute uh, to growth and the overall uh, uh, business outlook that you have for the full year? See, SR Oil, as, as you are aware, we have expanded our capacity to 20 million tons and the complexity 12. And now we have completely stabilized our refinery is running plus 100% capacity. It is uh, actually showing the complexity means it is taking almost 90% plus heavy and ultra heavy barrels, is still producing 85% light and middle distillates. And therefore, uh, we definitely see that refinery of this size and complexity has a uh, very promising uh, positive future because today if you see, we have set up this refinery at $5 billion. And any refinery which is coming up uh, now or in near future of this similar capacity and complexity is going to be at least at 10 to 12 billion dollars. So considering that, we definitely have a lot of advantage in terms of capex. Our operating costs are also very competitive in terms of world average. And therefore, we are looking for good profitability for SR oil in years to come. Are there behind you or is there more to come? No, as we have said always that our major capex are all not done. Okay. We have completely stabilized. We are doing some sort of Optima Plus, which is very low capex program, and which is also targeting to increase uh, our GRM by about one and a half dollar over a period of next three years. Okay. You know, I know it's a difficult call to give out forward-looking guidance, but your first half was exceedingly uh, uh, bright. You saw highest ever half yearly revenues, highest ever half yearly throughput at about 10.32 MMT. Uh, I'm assuming we are going to see the same kind of trend ahead as well? Generally, uh, the same time of trend will continue because our refinery is running uh, plus 100% uh, regularly. And uh, the revenue is also because the crude prices have not come down there where they, are, they were in the first quarter. So you should have a similar trend in terms of uh, revenues, in terms of uh, throughput. And the margins also now have started looking up, so we should have a better second half. And that would also include uh, strong refining margins? Uh, yeah, for the first two months of this quarter, margins were not all that great, but uh, now the margins have started uh, looking up and uh, looking for a uh, extended and severe winter in Europe. I think the margin should hold up. Okay. All right, Mr. Gupta. Thank you so much, sir, for joining us. Great to get that uh, clarity from you.
as always, it's a pleasure chatting with you. That's the management of SR Oil talking about the FCCB conversion and how the year ahead would pan out. Also flagging off that uh, after a bit of a lag, GRMs have started to pick up going into the winter season. The stock is up uh, and it's actually spiked up once again. Let's focus on TCS. Apparently, 